Hey what's up guys, Yusuf Shah from Tech Droids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and in today's video I take you guys over a new $850 gaming PC build featuring the new Ryzen 5 2600X and a GDX 1060. And this is the real build, we actually had the parts and thanks to Shri Hari who is a subscriber of the channel and wanted to build his own PC so he hit me up for some help. So huge thanks to him again and in this video I take you guys over all the parts you need to build this PC and towards the end we'll talk about the performance numbers, the benchmarks, also a full time lapse of the build will be uploaded to the channel soon, this is only the parts overview and performance numbers. So with that being said, all the parts that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description to Amazon US and those are affiliate links so if you want to help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos, go ahead and buy from those. And with that being said, let's get on with the build. Now for the CPU, we have the new AMD Ryzen 5 2600X. It's a 6 core 12 thread beast for $209. Comes clocked with 3.2 GHz on the base and can go up to 4.2 max boost, XFR2 and precision boost too. Comes with its own rate spire cooler so you don't have to buy a third party one to overclock and it's a beast overall. Now to house that CPU, we have the Asus Prime B350M-K. It's a really good motherboard for around $60 to $70. It nails all the essentials, but this will get the job done. You have DDR4, USB 3.0, HDMI, M.2, O-clocking support, and all the things that you might need in a budget motherboard. And for the price it's retailing for, it's a really good deal. For RAM, we have 8GB of DDR4 at 2400 MHz from SK Hynix. This is not available in the US, but I will make sure to link an alternative down below. But 8GB should really do the job for about 80 to 90 in 2018, that's you know more than enough for gaming and doing modern day-to-day -day tasks. Now for mass storage, we have one terabyte of WD Blue hard drive, 7200 RPM, 64 megabytes of cache, and a 3.5 inch form factor. And for $44, you're getting a terabyte of space, which is really good value for money. And what else can you ask for for that cheap of a price? Now we also added a Samsung 850 Evo SSD that is 120 gigabytes for the operating system and to get the PC you know running really fast and to get that really fast UI responsiveness. For the power supply, we have the Corsair VS550. 550 watts should be more than enough. This is 80 plus certified, so you will get that 80% plus efficiency at all times. The graphics card, we have the Zotac GeForce GDX 1060, the AMP edition. So it comes with 6 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, 3 display ports, 1 HDMI, 1 dual link DVI. You have DirectX 12 compatibility. It's VR ready, and it should really do the job. It's a GDX 1060, so I think this should be enough for this build. For the case, we have the Corsair Carbide Spec 04. This is a really good looking case with a clear side panel, USB 3.0, audio jacks, a lot of space, the build quality is really sturdy and yeah it just looks good it's got all the space you need to you know house liquid cooling and all your big graphics cards it has got you know storage expansion slots and it just does the job. I was in awe when I was looking at it when the PC was getting built. We had the red and black flavor here and this retails for only $44 and for that price, it really does the job. Now that's about it for the parts. Now let's talk about performance numbers, benchmarks and some future upgrades. Performance should be really good on this build. It's a 6 core 12 thread CPU with 8 gigs of RAM and a GDX 1060. You should be playing all the modern AAA titles at 1080p medium to max settings or even maxed out in some cases and still getting 60 or above FPS. Now talking about the older titles or the games that don't require a lot of power you should be playing them at 1080p or 1440p medium to max settings over 100 fps the gaming experience in the games that don't require a lot of power like you know the esports titles rocket league cs gold dota 2 league of legends world of warcraft and things like that you should be going really good in terms of settings as well as fps and the gaming experience overall is going to be really good you can live stream whilst playing you know at a decent setting and the live stream quality will also be really good the cpu and the gpu should be handling it and talking about editing and high-end productivity or mega tasking that is also very possible on this pc you can be editing in 4k also you know doing 3d modeling and some high-end productivity so if that's something you want to do it is possible on that pc and with that being said that's it for this build guys smash the like button if it was helpful and if you enjoyed it in any way go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and with that being said thanks so much for watching all the parts are in the description down below go ahead and check them out buy to help the channel out and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what do you think and how was the video and thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace out.